Good morning and what's up my YT homies and I'm saying morning because it's morning for me I'm getting ready to go I need my watch first off I feel like it's been a long time since I've come in with the video actually it has other than vlogs and I'm getting I'm slow with putting videos out right now but I'm gonna get better but what was I about to say <laughs> y'all know I get all over the place sometimes so the last sit down video that I sat down and I made was the Fenty Ease Drop Tinted Moisturizer and I did not like it. I got the colors 15 and 17 and I took them back. I did not like them. But this is not what this video is about. In this video, I am going to share with you the Nima Tang Time Dose of Colors collaboration. So if you're interested in seeing this, then please continue to watch y'all know we get to on time when we start stuff and we hadn't been on video in a long time so please forgive you girl anyway today is wednesday the march the 26th and first of all it's the last day of school for me post planning last day of post planning y'all know if y'all been here for a while post planning and pre-planning girl i don't wear makeup i don't do anything but i needed to get these videos out so i did this for y'all today so anyway i don't remember what day this collaboration started I want to say the 12th or something like that but the day that it launched within minutes of it launching I ordered and it took me two weeks to get this and I've seen so many bigger youtubers that have theirs already they don't say it's been sent to them they said they purchased it so like really it made me think like these companies look to see if the person is a youtuber or a tiktoker or something before they go ahead and send them out so anyway here's the box and Nima Tang is nowhere near my complexion but she is a black creator and she has the best personality and I love watching her I started watching her just like a lot of you guys probably started watching her when she was doing that darkest foundation series or what have you so anyway there are two kits in this collaboration and let me show you the inside of the box i haven't pulled these out yet i have not used them yet this will be my first impressions actually first time so here's the card that comes in the box that's the card so each kit is 49 dollars, and i went to the website before i came on here to try to see if i could find the date that it launched so i could be sure and tell you guys the date that it launched and i think this one is sold out so not only did i get the coral one i got the brown i think it's brown which one what are these called again i don't even know but this one is more of coral and this is a chocolate nude. This one is like the nude and this one is the coral. So I got both of them. Are we going to start off with the cool nude or the coral? Hmm. Let's start off with the nude. Let's start off with this one. So it, yeah, it's the nude lip set. This box, I don't know what that stuff is, how, it, what it's called that it feels like, but it's like not cardboard. So here is the package. And I don't, let me tell you guys what comes in here. So there's a chocolate chip lip liner, a like to see it liquid matte lipstick, a EGN stay glossy lip gloss, and then a penny classic lipstick. So that is what is in here. So this is, of course is the lip liner. I'm going to say this is the liquid, what is it? The liquid lipstick. Yeah, the liquid matte lipstick. This is the gloss and this is the classic lipstick. So let's start with, First of all, let me put the liner on. I'm just going to put the liner on just so we can go ahead and see what the liner looks like on me. Okay. So this is definitely a black. It's like, no, it's not like. If it has any type of brown in it, it's not brown on my skin. This is like a black. So let me see how can I do this. Instead of making just a thin line, let me beef it up a little bit. So what should I start off with? I wish y'all could tell me. I'm going to start off with the lipstick. Let's start off with the lipstick. So, oh, just open it and look at that. I don't know whether that's heat. Oh my God, this is horrible. Look at that. 
and I know it didn't stay out in the sun when it got home because Patrice was here and she got it. And then look, look, oh my God. This is horrible. This is horrible. It's like cracked up and everything. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. And then it has her signature. Y'all, I am so disappointed. I am not gonna lie. I am so disappointed. <sighs> Let me get my mojo back because it's just, me that just messed up my whole vibe. It really did. It really did. So let's see though. And it moves around too much. At first impressions, I should have left this where it was. I'm gonna. I, what? What is their return policy? This is this this. Oh gosh, I'm 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 disappointed. I am totally totally disappointed. All right, you guys. So quick update before I move forward with this video. I did decide against sending it back. However, I did reach out to them to tell them about the damaged lipstick. I had to send a picture of it and then they sent a replacement. Yeah, I am totally disappointed. But anyway, the show must go on. So this is what it looks like with the lipstick and this is the liner and the lipstick and I don't, this is not something that I will wear. I like neutral colors, but this is just a little bit too dark for me. You know, I mean, maybe if I were going to a certain type of event, but I'm not feeling it. I'm just gonna go ahead and try the glossy lip i'm not gonna even put that lip liner back on i don't even want to touch it because it's not it's not my color definitely not my color so this is the egen lip gloss so let's see what the lip gloss looks like all right so now with this lip gloss I kind of like it and the only reason I kind of like it is because I know this is something that my mother would have loved if she was still here but as far as me as far as I go mm -mm. this is too dark for me it, it, it's it, well it's not too dark for me but it's darker than a color that I would like let me put it that way because I could rock it I'm not saying I couldn't but maybe with another eye or something but nah it's 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 I'm not I'm not feeling this. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling it. Now let's try the matte liquid lipstick. And this one is like to see it. And I realize I don't even want to go any further with this. I do realize that the colors are catered to darker skin tones like Nima's. I do realize that. So I understand it not. I understand it not being something that I would vibe with. I get that totally. But like I said, I was disappointed at go with the lipstick. The quality of it not the quality of it but the way that it came i was disappointed now these products do feel good on the lip i'm not gonna sit there and sit here and say they don't but these are just not for me so let's see if the other one is going back all right so what do we have in here we have the amberish lip liner the zoe liquid matte lipstick the sequence stay glossy lip gloss and bow classic lipstick and i know these the bow and the zoe are the names of her dogs so this is what this set looks like and like i said it is the coral lip set i can see this fitting me better let me just say offhand first off that i would not wear this lip liner with a coral lip i would wear a brown that's what I would wear with a coral lip. I would wear brown. So now let's see what the lipstick looks like. This one is straight. Look at that. And it's so, so, so pretty. And this one also, no, this one doesn't. Yeah, it has, both of them, I guess, have the dose of colors over here. And then we have a Nima Tang signature over there. So let's see what this one looks like. Ah, this one is more matte. Oh gosh. The other one was creamier. This one is definitely more matte. I think this color would look better. I don't like this. I don't like this color on me right now. But I think with a brown lip liner, this color would I could rock it. I think I could rock it with the brown lip liner, but not with the coral lip liner. Mm -mm. Okay, so now that one was harder to get off, and as you can see, it definitely stained my lip. It stained my lip. 
so let's see what the lip gloss looks like and the lip gloss is sequins so the lipstick is what's the lipstick the lipstick is bow this is sequins so this is mm, i like the way it smells a little taste to it now i do like this gloss this gloss is definitely i do like it and it smells kind of like orange or something like that like creamsicle or something like that so i do like the gloss and last let's see what the liquid lipstick looks like now i know i would not put that coral lip liner on with it so let me see what a brown lip liner would look like but anyway i like this i like this coral and so here it is Sometimes when I have a liquid lipstick on, I line my lips with another liquid lipstick. I should have put the lip liner on first, the liner on first because this is definitely dry down quickly, quickly. Oh my gosh. So let me try to put a little bit more on there. I like this. I'm going to keep this set. The coral set is definitely a keeper. So thank you so much for watching this video. I am... I'm not going to apologize for someone that does like it and that, oh gosh, let me put this back up. Y'all see my bra. Anyway, it's okay. But I'm not going to apologize for my feelings on this collection on the new, let me say that, because the coral is on point. Look at there. I'm, it's so pretty. The coral is so, so, so pretty. But that nude set is just not a nude for me. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and get out of here and get my behind to work and yeah so until the next time in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and i will do what catch you on the flip side bye